In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make an organic balloon garland. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me. Justine where all I want to do is inspire you if you're new here on my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified on all the decor design and DIY projects I do here on my channel so the color combination that I chose is based off the new movie Aladdin and since Aladdin is my absolute favorite movie of all time why not do an organic balloon theme with the same colors so if you would like to see how to make an organic balloon garland, please keep watching. So step one, you're going to blow up your balloons. I used gold, turquoise, and purple, and they were all 12 inch balloons to go along with the Aladdin theme. So here I'm tying two balloons together, which are called a duplet, and I actually showed you step by step in my previous video if you want to click on the link down below to see how I did it. So step two is stringing the balloons together. I use a fishing line that's about 700 yards. I bought it from Walmart and it's clear so you won't be able to see it. You wanna make sure that you do a double or triple knot on the first balloon because that's usually the ones that you have to tie until you're finished. And then you're going to add the balloons on top of that. So you're going to take another duplet and put it right on top of your first one and then you're going to take the string you're going to pull it over the purple which is on top and then under the first one which is the gold and then you're going to pull a little bit and then you're going to repeat it again so under the top one and then over the gold one and then pull tight you're going to pull tight in the beginning versus towards the end and you're going to repeat the same process for each balloon so a lot of people don't know what a organic balloon garland is and all it is is basically a balloon garland filled with three to four kinds of balloons and you kind of string them on a string and you put them around a backdrop. The reason why it's called organic balloon garland instead of just a balloon garden because the balloons actually vary in size. So the more obscene they are, it, the more organic it can look. So I had to come back here because this whole video I didn't know I only have one earring so I just wanted to state the obvious before anybody else does. Yes, I know I have only one earring on and it was either do the video over or just put it out there and I just decided to put it out there. <laughs> So as you're doing the balloon garland with the string going over and under about two or three times, you want to make sure you loosen the string or you don't tighten the string as much as you did in the beginning because you want to be able to mold it to the frame of either your stand or the wall, wherever you need it. And if it's too tight, it won't move. 
So step three is basically measuring out your balloon garland to make sure it fits either on the wall or the photo stand that you will be using to hang it on. Now my wall is probably about 10 feet tall and I'm probably using between 50 to 60 balloons in this garland. Step four is to use cable ties, also known as zip ties, to attach to the balloon garland. I highly recommend that you guys get long cable ties because it makes it a little easier. I ended up creating multiple loops and I didn't know that you can attach two zip ties to make it one long one, so I ended up doing that instead later on but all you're going to do is take the zip ties or the cable ties attach it in between the string and then kind of loop it in there so that way it'll be easier for you to attach it to a wall or a photo stand So step five is to set up your photo stand. Now in this video, I use the photo stand to attach the balloon garland too. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see there is a photo of me using a balloon garland on a wall and you can see how I did that there. So step six is going to be attaching the balloon garland to the photo stand. So as you can see, I used the cable ties and I looped it and then I put one under the pole and then kind of attach it to the balloon garland and it actually holds pretty well no one will see it i mean i kept the zip tie the little end part on there but if you're anal you can just delete it and then you're going to make sure you include one in the other corner along with the one on the bottom as well so attach them to those poles So remember I told you I was struggling with these zip ties? Well, you can attach two together to create one long one by putting the end into the loop and then it creates a long one. My husband actually taught me this because he saw I was struggling. So make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and answer the design question, which is, what are your favorite color combinations when it comes to doing a balloon garland? Make sure to comment down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. A whole new world, that's where we'll